It should be all easy. You just have to learn to go with somebody's resistance. Right? Uh, what's your name? Travis. Travis, come on down. Come on down, Travis. <laughs> Travis comes to punch. As he comes to punch, and I went with his energy. Now you felt how that felt, and see where I am. Now come to punch, and I go like this. See how you want to fight me? Yeah. This is bad for you, but just because his body position is, is really sad here. So if he comes to punch, and I go with that energy, and I took him in this tripod here because he, his space, his distance allowed me to have this point. Since he has all this space to try to come up inside of me, you have to take him in that position down. From this position, if I want to continue elbowing him, if he bent his arm on me this way, is another good point. You take this up and you put it this way. You alright? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you do, if, if you're coming to punch, and let's say I'm not so good, and he's all ready to fight, his next punch comes, a bit harder. But fast, fast, fast. From here, I come back again here. I always put my leg out here. I want to take him. It's good. His knee, it's good. I don't train with him, it's good. That's good, okay? But I don't really need this because I pull this out again here. Again, I'm going to pop this arm here. <laughs> He's just getting ready to see how far I want to go, right? See how here you could roll over if you got up on your knees? Right, now roll back over for me. Now do that again. <laughs> yeah. So if you put that arm up there, it will stop them from rolling around again. So, yeah. Play around. If anybody, come up with something different. Or if anybody has any questions on an arm lock, come on. <laughs> Please uh, share them with me. If, uh, how much time do I have? It is, ah, you're always trying to have that straight arm. You want to, somebody, if somebody grabs my arm, I want it to be here. I, I, you know, it's just like if you hold a dumbbell weight, the further it goes away from me, the less strength you have of, of that arm. If you, but for me, some people are strong. I can't, I can't bring my arm to me. So I have to bring me to my arm to save it. Come here, Kathy. <coughs> All these arm locks, it doesn't matter if it's a punch, if it's a grab, if it's a push, everything is the same. If we're lying on the ground, all the same. Once you understand the principles of the energy. The energy is as easy as this. If, just put your arm to mine. He pushes me, I go with it. And now, instead of me going with it like this, with my arm, so I could do that to clothesline him, I go with it with my body. If I go with it with my body, I can use the same momentum to pop him in the face. If he's fighting because he wants to hit me or punch me or something, it's going to do again from here. If he's squarely and goes to roll underneath me, the, the same thing again. I'm going to come up to, to take his arm and pop him. If, if, so every time he squirrels, you just got to know which way to, to go and, and to lock, lock him out here. This is pretty much a, a standard thing for policing. You just put your leg up here like this. You know, take your cuffs and clamp them down. Take his se second hand. You just pull him this way. He'll bring it. They comply. Pain makes people comply. It's a really effective tool. Then you hold the arm up. If you wanted to cuff him, you can cuff him. If, uh, let's say he comes to punch, and as he punches, I go to take his arm, but it's bent. He's pulling it back. The energy I have to go with, if I go with the energy from pulling it back, it'll just fall into place. Some people, they'll learn how to go with it. So let's play with this. I come to punch him. He takes my arm, I, I, and he pulls this back. And then I come back and say like this. And I say, ha, huh. knee on the head, pop the arm. It's a nice reversal. Everything that you're doing, there's reversals too. If you understand the energy, 
It's just a matter of understanding it a bit better than the next guy. So if I come to punch him, and he goes to do an arm lock, and he, he sees me fighting, and he pulls it back this way. See the energy? See where the energy's going? Instead of me fighting this, I go with that energy, and, and he tried to go with the energy, but I stop him with my knee between his shoulder blades, and I pop his arm again here. It's kind of easy, so everything will fall into place. Now, I can't get, if I'm here and he's trying to, and I'm like this fighting, the, he can never put me in an arm lock. So when people see stuff as a picture, as a static picture and go, he couldn't make me do that, they're really missing the point. The point is somebody's fighting energy. You're adapting into that guy's energy and utilizing it against him. If we're in this position that down and he's uh, on the mount uh, on top of me, it's no different. The energy comes at me, I shoot to the side, redirect that energy out. You follow me? It's, it's easy for here. If I, want, if, I, if I want to go to an arm bar, I'll just stretch it out and then redirect him back here again and put my, here uh, I'm putting my elbow beside his head to keep his body away from his arm and then just pull this out. If I wanted to take it with one arm, I take it with, her. I have an added bonus, a wrist lock at the same time. Most arm locks, most arm locks that you do, anytime he comes to punch, as, as he comes to punch, and I went with that, I have the wrist always, no matter what he does. If, I'm, if he's fighting it, he goes back. If he's turning with his other hand, I go with that energy, popping it back in. Again, I have a choice of which arm I want to rotate. You always turn somebody over by the wrist. So if I wanted to turn him over this way, he'd turn over this way. If I wanted him to turn over this way, I could just pick him up, pop the arm here, it's done. If I wanted to pop it back in here, it's done. It, it all depends on where somebody has fight.